Donald Trump may have had a rocky weekend, but so did Trump's chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney. Seen here just waiting for this headline, Trump fired his chief of staff, <laughs> Mick Mulvaney. This is a little surprising because both Mulvaney and Trump just attended the Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, where nothing seemed to miss. However, this weekend it was discovered that a person who attended CPAC has a confirmed case of coronavirus. Okay, that is serious. I wonder if germaphobe Trump booted Mulvaney after seeing Mulvaney's talk at CPAC, because here are the highlights. <laughs> Something happens. I used to run on his stuff. Look, it's, look at it. It's not yeah. And would you agree with me in terms of his uh, style? Let's see, the, the last 20... Okay. Um, you know what? <laughs> Say, well, you know what? Um, everything you do. <laughs> Thank you. You might be able to tell I've got a little bit of a cold. Now, <laughs> we don't know the identity of the CPAC attendee who was infected, mm. but one thing we know for sure the unnamed individual had no interaction with Trump. No interaction with Trump. So be on the lookout for this woman. <laughs> okay, just. Oh! Play it safe. Trump did reportedly shake hands with CPAC chairman Matt Schlapp, who had interacted with the infected person, which makes the president just two degrees of separation away from the virus. Oh, no! Coronavirus is based on degrees of separation? Quick, somebody check on Kevin Bacon. He's... <laughs> he's a potent disease vector. I mean, he was patient zero for dance fever. One person who did have sustained contact with the individual is Texas Senator and chonky Wolverine Ted Cruz. <laughs> Cruz says he has no symptoms, but just to be safe, he said that he will be self-isolating. <laughs> Adding, yes. Adding, in fact, just to be safe, I've been self-isolating for years. That's why I eat alone in the Senate cafeteria, had no friends in college, and no one came to my birthday party when I was six. <laughs> many, he's just doing his part, many, <laughs> many CPAC attendees had been skeptical about the seriousness of the virus, like Arizona congressman and dad trying out bangs, <laughs> Paul Gosar, four days ago, Gosar, complained about the cost of the coronavirus response, tweeting, So the House just passed additional $7.7 .7 billion for 80 cases of U.S. coronavirus under review. That's $9,625,000 per patient. Well, and this may shock you, Gosar is a dumbass, because... <laughs> Today, he tweeted, I am announcing that I, along with three of my senior staff, are officially under self-quarantine after sustained contact at CPAC with a person who has since been hospitalized with the Wuhan virus. My office will be closed for the week. <laughs> That's like getting a text from your friend that says, I don't believe in ghosts. Then the next day, trapped in a haunted mansion, oh my god, there's no way this noise is just wind. Every door I open is another staircase. My office will be closed for the week. <laughs> So, oh my goodness. so, Representative Gosar is under self-quarantine. I'm not sure he's doing too well, because this afternoon he tweeted, been thinking about life and mortality today. I'd rather die gloriously in battle than from a virus. In a way, it doesn't matter, but it kind of does. Wow. Wow. That's deep. Oh, no. What a deep thinker. I could be thinking about how I could use my office to help the public, but instead I'm sketching in my dream journal, because in a way, fixing things isn't my job. But it kind of is. <laughs> Looks like the president is now one degree of separation from the virus, because today Trump congressional buddy Doug Collins tweeted that he too shook hands with the anonymous CPAC coronavirus donor and is currently in self-quarantine. Thankfully, since CPAC ended, Collins has laid low and only shaken the hand of one leader of the free world. <laughs> Look at that. Jim, can you play that clip again and this time play it all the way to the end? There he is. And, oh, it's a longie. 
What is he thinking? You're supposed to wash your hands for 20 seconds, not shake your hands for 20 <laughs> seconds. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I've got the coronavirus. Keep that cruise ship at sea. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, it wasn't just Collins, because we also got a self-quarantine statement from Florida congressman and man whose hat size is cinder block. <laughs> Matt Gates. Well, at least Gates didn't shake Trump's hand. Instead, he was seen boarding Air Force One with Trump today. His timing could not have been worse. Gates only learned that he'd been exposed to the virus after Air Force One lifted off from Orlando. He then essentially quarantined himself, sitting in a section of the plane alone. Oh. That definitely works. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the section of the pressurized cabin where they recycle all the air. Have you ever been on an airplane? If someone in first class eats an onion, you cry in coach. <laughs> well, this is a national crisis. And Trump said it at the CDC, for the safety of all Americans, we should not let Donald Trump land. Think of the numbers. It would ruin my beautiful numbers. <laughs> We'll be right back with John Krasinski.